and welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. We are getting your feedback fast and hard and I'm going to be reading it out very shortly. 22422, that's our SMS line. If you're uh, using a social media platform, please use the hashtag Cheche so that we can track your feedback and we'll be back to it. Just before we went to the break, we had talked about how the ICC has morphed into a political issue and how we are seeing those who are seen to be pro the Deputy President, uh, you know, come together and those who are seen to be against, like my good friend Kifusho Arab Kira, left out of key political meetings. Uh, I, I want to start, gentlemen, by talking about uh, the Bomet governor, Isaac Ruto. And he has been perhaps the most vocal in the region in his opposition of the deputy president. Not so much so because uh, uh, his statements are not about the ICC, but he's had a lot of issues in terms of how central government has been dealing with devolution and who really represents the region. Um, how about I start with you, Makali? Talk to me about how the Bomet governor used the Council of Governors platform to transform himself into a, a pretty viable, if you like, uh, political opponent in the rift. <laughs> well, <laughs> Perhaps even the word uh, viable will come into uh, question. Uh, uh, <laughs> Go ahead. Well, I think, the, first of all, that is the character of the Bomet governor. <coughs> He's a very uh, controversial um, you know, I don't want to use very many adjectives on him, but he's <laughs> not an easy uh, 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 type of person to deal with in terms of when he takes his position. Mm -hmm. uh, he's very strident, he's very um, uh, persistent. And I think the Council of Governors had the benefit of having the right chairman at the inception, as the first chairman of the Council of Governors. They needed somebody like that to push the agenda of devolution, and they were very hard on this uh, national government. Mm -hmm. uh, to that extent, uh, he served a good purpose. We we'll wait to see what Munya will do, uh, make of that uh, position. Mm -hmm. uh, but also that gave him the profile he required, except that it always uh, seemed to be at uh, loggerheads with the national government, mm -hmm. in which his principal in URP, uh, the deputy president, is a major, uh, uh, you know, is a higher up. Mm -hmm. So he was cast in, in you know, in um, conflict all the time. And then it boiled down. But see, that hadn't begun. Uh, uh, that that whole controversy and c sort of rivalry began way back, even in before they got into government, before they got elected as governor mm -hmm. and uh, and um, and deputy president. Right. I remember within U UDM, uh, um, uh, before they even moved into URP, there was always a problem about Isaac and whether he should be the one running for governor in Bomet, if I'm not wrong. And mm -hmm. there were issues with Keter within that party. So. You know, Isaac was always the problem uh, person in that party. So this is just a continuation of his uh, personality. Uh, yeah, of personality and how he conducts his leadership and business. So I don't think uh, anything is extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Whether he'll survive in the new movement to merge parties uh, into JAP, which is what we'll look at shortly, is another story. Uh, whether he'll provide another, you know, uh, uh, alternative to URP within Rift Valley and build other coalitions is again something that we wait to see. Mutegi JAP has had. Um well, a shaky start in taking off. I think they now have at least one member of parliament, if I'm right. But it hasn't been exactly smooth sailing. Do you see it getting easier to get these parties to collapse and come under JAP as we get closer to 2017? Or is it only going to get harder? I think it will get softer. In fact, uh, Isaac Ruto himself has recently said he's agreeable to, the, to joining JAP. If I remember very well, he has agreed. So when it comes to central province, Kiraito's uh, party, it, has no, it, it can't survive if the bus, if it collapse, if it doesn't go to Jap. Uh, which other party? I think it will be easier as long as the two of them remain intact. But if the, pole, uh, the holes are being poked, that uh, Ruto is being abandoned by, mm. that means the Kakarajids are being abandoned by Kikuyu, to put it simply. <laughs> 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 that, uh, the, 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 if the Kikuyus now start seeing Kakarajids as enemies, the way it used to be, mm -hmm. which I don't see happening, seeing the way they are running there, you know, the, the Merus were there, the Kakuyus were there. Uh, I think to me it is going to be walk through. Do you agree, Kipruto? <laughs> You're in a, a new fort, Kenya. What, yeah. are, what are your views? Well, I, I think it's very interesting. We need to go to the fundamental uh, uh, issue. Why is the configuration of parties the way they are? Mm. It is because of two factors. One is mistrust of each community and also intolerance of those who lead these parties. And therefore, if we are addressing the issue of coalition coming together under Jubilee, 
we should first address the fundamental issues. Are we being able to create some kind of uh, seamless understanding at the grassroots level? In my opinion, some of the shops may close with people inside, <laughs> and therefore it is not going to be easy for, 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 for Jubilee to get the, the, the critical mass that they require for them to win in round one in the next election I'm if they agree. go in I the style they are going. The only people who might have difficulties are the people who are in office. You know, the psychiatrists mm. of this world. But the grassroots, <laughs> whether the psychiatrists are there or not, the grassroots will follow Uhuru, the grassroots will follow Ruto. But the people who are in office, who are having like the much here, because there's a party which he leads, if if you are part of the party, where will you go? Oh, the shop was clearly. That's the problem. Well, well, it's very interesting. You know, it comes back to the same issue of intolerance. Mm -hmm. You see, why did Kano break into so many parties? Because all these parties mm -hmm. are just uh, an offshoot of Kano. All of them, <laughs> with the exception of none. It is because there was issue of intolerance. It is because there was issues of communities not trusting each other. The formation of Ford originally was done with the view that it was going to be a mass movement that was going to remove Kano out of power. Within no time, suspicion crept in. And that is when Ford broke into Fort Kenya and Fort Asli. The rest of the history you know very well. I remember we dealt with the issue of formation of NAC. It took us one year of trying to persuade each and every individual and all the time they were saying we don't trust the other group. You're saying that so as long as suspicion it, persists, Yes. JAP is not viable. Well, it, it may take off as Jubilee, URP and TNA. But some of the parties that they, went, they want them to come in, such as yours, such as mine, may not bring the grassroots with them. Why do you want New Fort Kenya to come in? Unless you, you want the party leaders to come into your ticket and you leave the grassroots, then you... you, 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 you the main issue is, are you coming with the grassroots? You know, what, what remains uh, surprising to me, and I'm sort of having an out-of-body experience even as we talk about this, is the fact that while you are saying what we know to be the sad reality of, of Kenyan politics, that by and large it is about bringing the grassroots, and when you talk about grassroots, you're really Choice. talking about ethnic okay. calculations yes. and suspicion, yes. that we seem comfortable and stuck in that Makali, and we're not going to move this country beyond that into forming coalitions and parties that actually agree on certain values. Yeah. I, I think uh, I'm, I'm waiting to hear what Murkomen, who is the, uh, you know, one of the movers of that merger of parties, uh, has to say. But my view is, I think, linked to what uh, Moshimua Kipruto Kiro is saying. The, uh, the leadership of Jubilee should be more concerned about how to bring or to retake uh, uh, the next election rather than uh, having everybody within their bus. you know, <laughs> yeah, in their bus uh, if I was a strategist for Jubilee I would be saying, mm -hmm. whom can we work with to bring on board the numbers which we need to take uh, to win the next election rather than can we break those parties so that we have one big bus which bus may exclude the, the votes that you are looking for? Because mm. as Mushimu has said, bringing on the leadership of those parties does not necessarily translate into uh, bringing on the, uh, f uh, the membership of mm -hmm. those, uh, where those parties come from. And for Jubilee, I think well, they must be content to realize that they are strong in the two areas dominated by the two parties, TNA and URP. The others are settler parties, they are actually uh, in movement, they are neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. They are nucleus, uh, nuclei of Jubilee but they're not necessarily inside the house. Mm -hmm. They may support Uhuru, but they may not support TNA or URP. Right. And I think that is the option that I would think would be safe for them. Uh, first, let's start with by, <coughs> by saying uh, there was something about Isa Grutu earlier. Um, <laughs> and I, I want us to run away from that kind of discussion because we know that for you to be president in Kenya, you must get 50 plus one. Yes. Discussions okay. about village uh, uh, political, political uh, co competitors, uh, <laughs> as you saw my friend Isaac uh, reducing Isaac himself. Isaac held national uh, office of uh, the Council of Governors. Uh, temporarily. Now, nowadays <laughs> we, we hear even more uh, disrupting women functions. And, wow. and, and, and so the, the point to <coughs> I was trying to say is that oh that, that kind of discussion is not necessary. We are moving to a country where we are dealing with 50 plus 1. Mm -hmm. 50 plus 1, you must forget about even being, being, you know, some people are saying, oh, you know, we Marakwets, we Nandis, 
you cannot even start having that discussion in an environment where you are dealing with 50 plus one. Mm. Let's start from that. Second, let's not forget that NFK, for example, was not in Jubilee during the last election. Yeah. They came in as a post-election uh, coalition yes. to, to Jubilee. Uh, and so uh, the, the point we, we are trying to do, what we are trying to do now is to, and I agree with Mushimua, there are certain underlying issues that uh, members have their concerns. And they were even in URP, they are in TNA. By the way, no one should say mm. one of the uh, bigger, uh, larger Jubilee parties has a bigger uh, favoritism for JAP than the other. Right. All of them have issues, mm -hmm. including the officials, including that, uh, you know, identity issues and so forth. Mm -hmm. But we have said, we have provided the pre framework as leaders of saying, we, let's move to JAP. The conversation on the details, we are working on that. Yes. But the, the, we have the vision. The, the, the ultimate objective. Some people like uh, uh, Moshima was saying will come and say, you know, for us, our constituency, and I don't want us to bash uh, this argument, the fact that uh, ODM is stronger in Luo Nyansa should not be like, uh, should not be like uh, something you think is negative. It's not negative. There's nothing wrong with a particular region or community identifying with certain political party except if that identity of that political party excludes others. Mm. But just being there as, a, as that party, NFK is stronger in Bungoma, uh, or URP is stronger in Nandi, or in, in, in Marraquet, does not make it negative by itself. But what we are saying also, we need to move the country towards this 50 plus 1 argument, that uh, slowly, as a nation, we should move to a situation where we have only two political parties in the country, competing, mobilizing themselves at, around issues, and therefore you know, reduce our politics from the polarization of it. The moment what people... What does JAP stand for? Uh, that is so different from what uh, URP on itself stands uh, for and TNA by itself should JAP actually stands for the Jubilee Coalition Agreement. Well, which not is, the which is, uh, I'm, just saying, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying in the values itself. Mm -hmm. And the, 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 the critical value in the Jubilee uh, uh, Coalition Agreement is uniting the country. And we think uh, philosophically, uh, it may not be practical, immediately practical, but philosophically we think that one of the ways to bring the country together is to mobilize future political uh, competition around uh, issues around two or so. We, we are not saying court should join JAP. Maybe court should also, and you saw that conversation. You're not saying court should join saying, JAP? I'm, I'm just saying court should also, as a political entity, mm -hmm. we are not saying we love one political party in the country. There must be one which is opposing and one which is uh, uh, leading at any given time. Mm -hmm. And I think court, like they made in Ivasha, should work towards even that direction. That, you know, uh, uh, WIPA, uh, Fort Kenya, and ODM should start, you know, coming together, uh, rally around uh, one coalition, then let's have our competition between two entities. And by the way, the politics has become healthier. Let me tell you, the politics as we go uh, has become healthier when you are discussing two coalitions than in the past where you had uh, a, a country where even if you had 20% of the votes across the country, you would still lead the nation as long as your 20% was the majority. Let me ask uh, uh, Kipruto, is there anything that... Um my good friend Mukomen here can say to you that would sweeten JAP as a viable option to your party. I, I'm just trying to get to the fact that, I mean, what exactly are you going to do going into 2017 to actually get these parties to collapse faster and start organizing around JAP? Well, I, I think we are talking the same language with Senator here because uh, we are saying let it be an integrated move. Let us not uh, lose the constituency that uh, we think we, 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 we own so that each and every constituency feel they are part and parcel of the final product. Otherwise, if you are to say close shop, just let's have these statistics. 35% yeah. of the so-called small parties that did not qualify for the uh, political parties fund, they form 35%, mm -hmm. which is the largest single entity compared to TNA, ODM, or URP. And these are right. facts, and it, it is because of the underlying threats that you feel I don't, I don't trust so and so, mm -hmm. I don't trust the other community. So therefore, an integrated move. What you do like be done so that you can have the trust. Mm. What we are saying is integrated move. We start with the communities. You see, as we as we are, this is part of colonial legacy <laughs> that we were made to believe that we are different because we come from different communities. And politicians since independence have failed to address that fundamental fact. When you see URP, you read Kalenji. And yet there are people well. outside the Kalenjin who are in URP. When you read TNA, you read Gema. And yet there are people outside Gema who are in TNA. 
So sh sh when you read NFK, you read Luya. When you see me as the national chairman of NFK, you get confused. You, you get confused. Why Kirwa is there? Why is he not in UIP? I learned it for the first time today. Yeah? Yeah. yeah, he has landed because he has chosen not to know. <laughs> <laughs> Selective ignorance. <laughs> now, who's now not meeting? You know. Yeah. So I think we are talking the same language with him. Mm. We just need to integrate the process. We need to involve all these okay. entities and we move together. I want to break down that word integration. Mm. And mm. what I'm hearing you say is that you need uh, mobilization at the grassroots level to tell, you know, Kenyans in general, this is where we want to go. Is this what you want? Yeah. But I all, when you talk about the political parties funding, I'm also hearing a calculation or an agreement post, you know, securing power should that take place. Mm -hmm. So what would that mean? Would it mean the sharing of certain positions? Would it mean that when you get, you know, uh, the political parties uh, fund that it is sh dis distributed in a certain way uh, with these other parties? Or what exactly are you saying? I don't want to be simplistic about the issue of integration. My understanding of integration is that involving the thinking of the communities that support the parties so that they understand this process and they also own the process. They also have their own opinion which we've not been able to engage at this particular time. On the ground. Is that, ground? Is is that a challenge to more common and the you know, people, you know what so is, that they can come to you? Is that what you want? Let me just yes. add something. Yes. What is yes. funny about what Mishmua is saying? Yes. He's saying uh, we need to involve the communities of that party. Yes, <laughs> so, so no, no, uh, it's funny because uh, Mishmua belongs to community of URP. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, no, let me just put it this way. <laughs> and he's saying, and he's saying, no, no. so, so uh, what I, I just, I understood him to be, uh, yeah. if I to be saying, yeah. uh, to be saying uh -huh. if I borrow it from East Africa Community Integration, for example, that uh -huh. it should be gradual. Yeah, I mean, for his argument, uh, he's saying that uh, the political party should not collapse immediately. Uh, you move through a process where you everybody is consulted. Mm -hmm. Stage one will be bringing the parties together or communities. They are, it has gradual stages. Yeah. Perhaps that is uh, what I understood. But I'm also saying that there are two ideologies. No, but your definition of community is different from mine. Yeah. Because community is not ethnic community. Yeah. It is the community of people who have assembled together to say yeah. we are NFK or we are URP. Okay. That is a community beyond the Kalenjin. Yeah. So if you just want me to be in URP <laughs> for the same, because I'm a Kalenjin, yeah, that is part of the process of intolerance. <laughs> not yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I must admit, you're being a bit vague. Yeah, you, you, are being about you are right. In the part the I'm saying the membership. Like, well, if that okay. will make you feel better, uh -huh. the membership of the party. Okay. Should be told okay. what or after Should what? be informed of the process. It is not just by one leader of the other party announcing that all of us are now going to close shop. Okay. Oh, well, well, yeah, what is this process? You are are these parties met? Can, can have I these th parties met? Are they, are have they, these are parties can, met? Can I add uh, something? Uh, yes. 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 We've met, mm -hmm. we've met uh, severally uh, through the leadership. By the way, Which uh, and, <laughs> and, and let, me, let me tell you something. Which leadership? Which leadership, the leadership of the political parties. And uh, uh, like the party leaders, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it's, it's public it. knowledge. No, wait, that's it's, what he said. No, it's public knowledge. Yeah, yeah. You and didn't invite him, but he's the leadership if you of the political party. Wait, if you wanted to speak to Newford, Kenya, you know the people to speak to. Yeah, um, who are they? No, listen, 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 listen. Let me conclude. No, that's very demeaning. No, 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 that's very demeaning. Let me come in properly. Let me bring a few more Let him carry his cross. Let him carry his cross. He is. said when you're talking to Newford, Kenya, yeah. you, you don't speak to. Talk to. <laughs> and so apparently we've I'm invited the wrong man to the program. Is that what you're saying? No, but also uh, the fact is okay. that I think I, I like that. they used to know who to talk to. They used to yeah. know who to talk to before I think yeah, he came in. He came in. Yeah, exactly. New, that's uh, the argument. Uh, 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 chairman, chairman of, yeah. the, of Newford, by which way. I think is about four months ago. Yes, exactly. And I don't think since that happened, there has been any consultation about these inter-party merger plans and so forth. Can I conclude? Uh, I, I, I have not concluded. Not come here for that. But also, he yeah. means that uh, you know <laughs> the, the majority support base of that party is somewhere else. Somewhere else. Was, uh, you no, know, let, let, uh, let me put it this way. Uh, let me put it this way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I said, and I want to repeat myself. Mushimiwa spoke so passionately about the argument that political parties in this country have support in certain areas. And he said clearly that most majority of colleges, if not 90-70 percent are in URP and, and so forth and so forth. A few are in a small uh, other uh, political parties. And so when that time started, the party leader of 
New Fort Kenya at that time, uh, which was uh, uh, on, uh, the Minister Wamalwa, uh, Wamalwa, and the governor yeah. now is the new party leader, right. uh, and, and so forth, and they mobilized. They sat down and they agreed to that argument. Uh, so at that point in time, I did not, I, uh, and I want to be very honest, I didn't know uh, Mwashima was in New Fort Kenya. He's a little late as, to as the party, chairman, is what yeah. you're saying. So maybe he came uh, a few uh, weeks ago, no, but no, a few no, months ago. No, but, no. but the point I'm just saying no. is that, you know, like Mwashima said, purposes, if you want to mobilize with Lusaka the same day. Yeah, you yeah, chose okay. to see Lusaka as the party leader. You chose not to see me as the national chairman. Uh, and it's obvious for the reasons you gave us. Yeah, that okay. sometimes no and I'm just saying the truth and <laughs> okay. I don't want me to lie I, I like that yeah for the, the reasons yeah, for, for, the yeah, community. for the yeah. reasons you gave us that yeah. uh, certain political parties have certain NFK has stronger presence in Bungoma yeah. where Lusaka comes from uh, uh, than Chalangani we are majority li yeah. we are majority party in Transoia yeah I'm just saying I'm just where saying, I come from yes I'm just yes. saying you are and we got more votes than URP in Transoia you are where I come from you are majority leader right. because of support of URP the membership of URP in the county assembly. Where? So, no. uh, let me complete this. We are the single largest block as NFK in Transoia. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now, so the, the point I'm trying to say is that if you want to bring that constituency into the flock, uh, you have to go to those grassroots leaders that Mushima talked about who are uh, situated in those places and make that conversation to bring them on board. But the point I'm trying to say is that we are not close to discussion. The vision the ultimate objective for Jubilee Alliance Party is to form one political party. The process towards the direction involves continuous negotiation with the parties you want to bring on board. That's the point I'm well, trying to make. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, 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 uh, Gideon Moy and Kanu and, uh, and uh, uh, Salad. Yes. We have told them. Where, where, where yeah. the they they are, we, have, we have told all of them that they are now part of Jubilee Coalition, but we have told them now it's time to close uh, the smaller institutions. We are closing ours, close yours. We move together to Jubilee Alliance Party. Are they agreeable? Well, I see sometimes the okay. members the members on the ground have no problem. They are, the voters and supporters have no problem. But you can, as, as Mishima said very well, you know the fear of most of these people, if you close some of these shops, you will close with some people inside, and it, it may crush a few people. Uh, and so you must be able to be careful. Uh, gentlemen, we must take another break. Thank you for watching, Cheche. I'm going to quickly read some of the feedback that is coming in. And uh, more coming, I must say, uh, the, the bulk of it is addressed to you. <laughs> um, so I will read it out to you. Uh, someone here, you don't leave your name, but you're saying Mokomen isn't sincere because Jab is to unite uh, the Kikuyu and Kalenjin communities. And remind him once again, ICC case is a personal issue. And if it is uh, the Deputy President Ruto who took, took himself to that court, ICC is not for Africa and not only because it's African leaders who commit uh, the most crime. So stop fooling Kenyans, Bona Mokomen. Another one uh, comes in and says, uh, whatever happened to Mokomen previously, a great debater until politics took him over objectivity left out another one says Cheche, you're making a lot of noise this morning. <laughs> <laughs> can I respond to the objectivity thing? I hope you would can, respond can, to the noise making. Can I respond to the objectivity? <laughs> yeah, objectivity. Right. I'm no longer objective. That's objective, I am said. biased. I am a member of Jubilee. So some, some issues I will propagate, uh, code people don't agree. And by the way, mm -hmm. let me tell you, Anne, one of the things that has shocked me on my Facebook page and uh, Twitter mm -hmm. is that this complaint about uh, uh, Murkomen, uh, CICC and so forth, why are you praying and so forth. And most of the complaints come from ODM members. And most of them come from uh, uh, defined ethnic uh, congregation. My question is, mm -hmm. is it not tribal for them to do that too? Who should be organizing prayer rallies? It should be more of ODM than ourselves. I mean, honestly, it should be, it should be Raila Odinga who is actually calling us. Martin Luther King Jr. said, I will not make complaint about the statements of my enemies. I will be more concerned of the silence of my friends. The people who are actually, the, the argument that is being made in ICC is that uh, William Ruto mobilized Kalenjin's network to, to deliver them to ODM. But the silence of ODM is deafening. I mean, not even sympathy, not even a prayer. But he, he's, but he's, it's an, uh, uh, well, Moses but, Atanga, but, yeah. I think, said uh, <laughs> you, you need a good lawyer and, and, and yeah. not uh, too many prayers. What you need is a maybe, great Maybe on people. the court side they don't believe in prayers. But you know they parted yeah. ways. Would you expect that the goodwill will still exist when they're pa punching from the wrong uh, different uh, directions? with you, the only thing that should, should unite this country across political parties is the ICC issue. And let me say this. 
If I part ways with you today, uh, Makali, in principle, because I'm taking this direction or the other, it will never stop the kindness and the friendship of the things we've done before. But so you know what this is about if, politics? If the greatest beneficiary. But you know, this is not just about politics. It's, it's about one person is being crucified hmm. on false allegations and his friends are silent. The greatest beneficiaries of the supposed political mobilization that is being argued are the most silent ones. Well, if I was to play devil's advocate, I would say this that the ICC, in as much as it has turned out to be a political matter really is a legal one perhaps on those grounds Even on that they legal are silent. let me ask you Anne if mm. your friend today your best friend whoever he is or she is mm. is taken to court you don't you can't even go and sit there at the dock to I mean somewhere in the benches there to watch your friend but let me, let me remind you of something will you not pray for them will you not call them let me, let me remind I mean, you of something Murkomen, not so long ago you said something akin to what you are saying that huh. in fact Raila Odinga should be the one to go to the hag and testify and say how Ruto was totally innocent because they were together and then I think Raila said yes I'm willing to go and testify you know what followed? Mm. No, 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 no. You should not go there. Not, 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 not at all. Not at all. Not at all. For me, and you even had to modify your. As a, as a, as a, no, for me, yeah. I remain consistent on that <laughs> argument. That Raila Odinga, ODM wrote a letter to to UN when we were trying to say this case now should come back. Yeah. They wrote a letter and said that it should stay there and being written by a political party that William Ruto at that point in time was still serving as a member of parliament. Two, and let me say this, that the silence of Raila Odinga on the innocence of William Ruto is deafening. And on that note, we take a short break. We're back with Cheche in a little bit.